Hello and welcome everyone to this new series on Python. In this series of videos, we will see how to deal with text data in Python. If you are new to the channel and still not subscribed to this channel, then do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. You might have seen reviews and ratings on Amazon, Flipkart and various other shopping sites. Those reviews and ratings are used to draw insights about the products. So we will see how to deal with data sets where we have some reviews about products, how to clean those reviews so that they can be further used to draw useful insights or used in machine learning algorithms to do sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is basically used to determine whether the customer review on a product is positive, negative or neutral. It is used by companies to know whether the customers are happy with the products and services or not. Now let's dive into Jupyter Notebook and see how to clean text data in Python. First we will import pandas library. So here I have imported pandas as pd. Then in the next cell I have imported the data set. For this exercise I am using a sample product review data set. This data set gives us information about the reviews given on different products, the date of the review and the username of the customer who gave this review. Here we have top 5 rows of this data set, the brand of the product, the manufacturer, then we have the name of the product, the primary category to which the product belongs to, then we have the reviews date, we have a review rating here, then what was the review given on the product, then we have the reviews username, the name of the person who gave the review. We will focus mainly on this reviews text column and see how to clean this column to make it ready for the machine learning algorithm. We will create a word cloud to know which are the words that are most commonly used in this review text column. Let's explore the data set first. Using dot info method we can see how many rows we have in the data set. So for each of the column that are present in this data set we can see the data type of each column like brand is of data type object then we have a reviews rating column that has d type as int 64 then here we can see the non null values in each column there are no null values in any column in total we have one column that has data type as int 64 and seven columns have data type as object then here we can see the memory used by the data set. To know the total rows and columns in our data set, we can use data.shape. Here we can see that we have 382 rows and 8 columns in the data set. Here you can see that the reviews date column is of data type object. Let's convert it to a proper date time format so that if required, we can apply any date functions on review date column. Here I have used pd.2 date time to convert the review date column to proper date format. Then assign back to the uh, reviews date column to check if the review date column has been updated to date time format. Let's do date.info again. And here you can see that uh, reviews date column has been updated to date time format. Further, we can see which brands are present in our data set and how many rows are there for each brand out of the total 382 rows that we have in our data set. Value underscore counts give us the count of each category uh, present in a column. So here I have used brand column to check which all brands are present in our data set and how many rows are there for uh, each brand. Here you can see that most of the rows are for Sling Media brand uh, that are 197. Then we have Sony which has 147 rows out of the total 
382 rows that are present in our data set next here i have seen which all primary categories are present in our data set using the same value underscore counts so the data is only for the electronics category lastly we can see what are the most common ratings given by the customers so i have used the column review rating from the data set and then applied value underscore counts method maximum rows have rating 5 and 4 and only few of the products have been rated 0 like here you can see only 3 rows are for 0 then only 21 rows are there for rating 1 so in this way we can get the count of each category that are present in a column in this way we can do the initial exploration of the data set that we are working on next let's see how to convert the text data that we are working on to upper or lower case suppose we need to convert the reviews text column to lower case so in python we have a method string dot lower to convert the text into lower case here we are applying string method so we have to convert the column first to string using dot str then we have converted the column to lower case here you can see that all the characters are coming in lower case similarly we can convert the reviews text column to a upper case so now you can see that all the characters have been converted to upper case in each of the reviews now let's see what will happen if we try to convert the data reviews text column directly to upper or lower case without converting it to string so let me insert a cell above this input cell 10 by pressing shortcut key on the keyboard a and i'll write here data select the column reviews dot text to lowercase using lower method and press shift enter so here you will see that we are getting error that series object has no attribute lower so lower is the method that is used only with the string data type that's why we have to convert the reviews text column first to string then we are applying the lower method to convert the text to lower case or upper case but these changes have not been done to the original data set that we have imported uh, if you add a new cell using shortcut b on the keyboard let's write data dot head all the characters are not coming in either lower case or upper case this column is visible as it was present in our data set to make changes to the original data set assign it back to the original column that we have used so here you can see that i have assigned the data reviews column after converting it to lower case back to the reviews text column and then if i have used data dot head now here you can compare that all the characters have been converted to lower case and the originally they were present at as you can see that w is present in caps but now the text has been converted to lower case for the entire column in this way we can convert any text column to upper or lower case depending on our requirement this was all that i had to cover in this session i encourage everyone to jump to jupyter notebook and start practicing whatever we have learned in this session with your own data sets in the next session we will see how to use replace method in python like we need to replace a particular word with some other word then we'll be using replace method i have also added the kaggle link for this jupyter notebook in the description below thank you for watching this video i hope this session was useful see you in the next session